Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the Glory and Praise, which is the larger book, number 644. 644, where charity and love prevail. Where charity and love prevail, there God is ever found, brought here together by Christ's love. By love are we thus bound, with grateful joy and holy fear. God's charity we learn, let us with heart and mind and soul now love God in return. Forgive we now each other's faults, as we our faults confess, and let us love each other well in Christian holiness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this feast of St. Charles Borromeo, we ask his intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Teddy Barnaby, Dolores Arcos, and those names in our book of life. For the times we failed to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people, we ask, O Lord, the spirit with which you filled the bishop, St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed, and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. My brothers and sisters, we do not live to ourselves, and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whenever whenever we live or, or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ died and lived again, so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother or sister? Or you, why do you despise your brother or sister? For for we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then, each of us will be accountable to God. The word of the Lord. The response, I believe I shall see the the Lord in the land of the living. Land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. One thing I asked of the Lord, that will I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living.
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Come to me, all you that labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. All the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to Jesus, and the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus told them this parable, Which one of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? When he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who need no repentance. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it. When she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that was lost. Just so I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the words of the gospel, wipe away our sin. Amen. There is joy in the presence of the angels over one sinner who repents. Guess who Jesus wants that one to be? Good morning. Yeah, self, meaning me and meaning you, right? This is what Jesus wants. I desire mercy, not sacrifice, but we first need to connect ourselves to the author of mercy, the Prince of Peace, Jesus himself. This recognition of how God sees us and our need to move away. Because Jesus is not afraid of what the external thinks. This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. Jesus is like, yes, you're finally figuring it out, right? Well, when we recognize our need for God's mercy, Jesus does the same. Yes, you're finally figuring it out. This is what brings delight on the face of the Lord. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not scorn. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord and the land of the living. Where's the land of the living? Do you know? Here and now, but also anticipation of the kingdom. So it's applying to both places, huh? And so this idea of recognizing God loves me despite the fact that I'm often like Mary Magdalene. God loves me despite the fact that I'm like Zacchaeus in the tree while everyone else is just going on with their life. God loves me when I'm very much like the leper, shunned by the rest of my society, but God still calls to me, wants to bring me healing. Talks about a God who knows us to our core, doesn't it? Talks about a God who loves unconditionally, doesn't it? It talks about a God who's so madly in love with you that he wants to reconcile you and bring you his peace, and that he wants to flood your heart with his grace. God is so amazing. Even in the gospel acclamation today, he gives us those words, Come to me, all you who are labor and are heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. He doesn't say, if you're perfect, talk to me. If you're not, not interested. He doesn't say that. But how quick we in society are to disregard people when they break our trust, when they break our heart, when they go against what they've said. But the Lord is compassionate and merciful. May we ask the saint of today, St. Charles Borromeo, one of the former bishops of our church, to also help us. Charles Borromeo proclaimed the truth of God, but he preached the truth with love. 
May this inspire us to not only live the gospel with love, but also to preach the gospel by what we say and do, as I chose in our opening song. Where charity and love prevail, there God is ever found. May God be found in our words, in our actions, and in our hearts this day. God desires the best for each of us. With confidence, we place our needs before him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For bishops throughout the world, especially our own, Gerard Burgi, may the Lord help them to shepherd the people in their care and bring back those who are lost, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for elected leaders. May the Holy Spirit inspire their efforts. In working for the good of all people, we, especially the poor, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who suffer from oppression. May God in his mercy give them the grace necessary to endure their many sorrows, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for this gathering of the faithful here at St. Joseph. May we be unified in our care for others and our praise of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the repose of the soul of the father of Bishop Burgi, Ger Gerald Burgi, who passed away on All Souls Day. That through the mercy of God, he may grant Mr. Burgi eternal life in God's kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Teddy and Dolores, all those in our Book of Life, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they be welcomed by the angels and saints to God's feast in heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. God, our Father, we belong to you. And trust in your never-ending love for us. We ask that you hear our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, upon the offering placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Charles, and grant that by the power of the sacrifice, that as you made him an attentive pastor, outstanding in the merit of his virtues, so you may make us abound in good fruit by our works, through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of St. Charles Borromeo, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, 
Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and, giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious, remember your servants, Gerald, Teddy, and Dolores, and those in our Book of Life, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Charles Borromeo, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, 
from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, give us that determination which made St. Charles faithful in ministry and fervent in charity, through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Let strife among us be unknown. Let all contention cease. Be God the glory that we seek. Be ours God's holy peace. Let us recall that in our midst dwells God's begotten Son. As members of his body joined, we are in Christ made one. No race nor creed can love exclude. If honored be God's name, our family embraces all whose Father is the same. God bless you. Have a good day.